Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. And today, today's name of this video is I didn't approve this purchase. I did not approve this purchase. This is a video for Erin Dawes. Uh, what am I wearing today? Quick whist, whist, whist watch. Check. Patek Philippe. White gold. 5127. G with the... Uh, the white gold version, and I'm wearing the deployant, deployant buckle. Today's story comes from a very, very good source. It's sponsored by Luxuria Watches in Sydney. Luxuria, a good place to check out watches if you're in Australia. Luxuria used to be Sydney Watch Exchange. Okay, here's a story. 30-something guy, he's had a few shitters, you know, like a tag, he's had a few Seiko, you know, he's, he's, he's a 30-something man. He's looking at a pre-owned Rolex, Rolex from the 90s, two-tone date just on a Jubilee. So very sharp watch, box papers, minty, minty, minty. Sevens, we're talking seven thousand, a little bit, I think seven to eight thousand price range, you know, not ridiculous for a Rolex. Two tone, sixteen, two, three, three. Beautiful watch. This here is a businessman's watch. Mid thirties. One and done. You could get this Rolex and you could be one and done. One and done. So he um, he was in the shop, and he's, he's, he's narrowed it down to this Datejust, two-tone Datejust, 16233. And his Skippy wife, Skippy, meaning white Caucasian Aussie, he's a white Caucasian Aussie, his wife comes in and he says, what do you think of this? And she just has this pissed off look on her face. She says to him in the watch store, I didn't approve this purchase. Let's go. I didn't approve this purchase. Let's go. What a fucking bitch. What a fucking bitch. In that five seconds, I did not approve this purchase. Let's go. This is a watch, one and done Rolex. It would get him into the executive levels in his company. This is like turning up to a job interview as a high level executive, and you turn up, they went to look at what car you're driving, and you're driving a fucking E-Class Mercedes. You are professional. You are... It's credibility. It's credibility. And this bitch just destroyed him. This bitch destroyed him. And she doesn't realize what she's done to him. She's destroyed this guy. Two-tone date just, he would have got a promotion, he would have got a raise, he would have got a company car, corner office, he would have got more money, more perks, more respect. And this fucking snarly bitch, snarly fucking bitch, has hosed it down. Hosed it down. Hosed it down. Absolutely unforgivable what she has done. 
absolutely unfucking forgivable absolutely destroyed his dreams his goals his whole purpose in life has been crumpled he wanted a rolex they just this is a businessman's tool to accelerate get a promotion this would have worked with his fucking asian contacts he would have got the promotion they could see that he was up and coming and this bitch hosed it down all i can say to you is i hope she's a damn good fuck i hope she's a damn good fuck because why else would you hang on to this bitch why else would you hang on to this bitch and uh, it's it's just so sad this guy he's he's a tender age mid 30s you know he's he's getting a little bit old putting a little bit on Career's not really working. Yada, yada, yada. And she's hosed him off. She's hosed him off. This is the saddest, saddest situation of all time. She's hosed him down. She's hosed him down. What a nasty fucker. Nasty fucking bitch. Absolutely. You know, this watch would have been a tool for him to go through life. It gives him kudos when he's in an interview. He's wearing a fucking two-tone Rolex. He's, he's a made man. And she's just destroyed his corporate future. She's absolutely destroyed his corporate future. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous and this is this is this is how these bitches are today they're absolutely destroying his his corporate future and i i don't know what to say i don't i feel very sorry for him i'd love to give him a lot a, 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 a lifeline and say hey man i'll just 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 encourage him talk him through it unfortunately there's no phone number was left behind it was just very shut uh shut and bake case it's all over red rover uh it's it's sad it's very it's very very sad it's it's very uh, it's, it's hard it's hard okay it's very very hard i'm 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 broken i'm a broken i'm uh, just listening to this story i'm very sad about the whole situation this would have helped him so much as a career stimulant this would have helped him Ten years time he gets the fucking date just he's driving a five series or an E class. I can see it. It's just he's just walked away from it. It's been a disaster. It's sad. It's it it, it it's a letdown. It is very much a letdown. I, I don't know what to say. I, I can't I can't really be involved in it. I've gotta be careful because if I get too involved it just makes me sad and disappointed but yeah, this this is this is how it is it's very sad so uh i don't don't get the women folk involved a man's got to be a man buy the watches yourself don't get the women folk involved buy the watch okay just fucking grow a set of balls and um you don't need her input her indoors cooking cleaning and the bedroom that's it now, your responsibility is to make sure, this is not sexism, your responsibility is to make sure you can pay for all the bills that come in. You've got to manage these things. So, I, I've got to be completely frank with you. Uh, it's not, I'm not giving you the easy end of the stick. You've got a lot of responsibility that comes with being the guy. And uh, it's just sad when you see someone's career just destroyed like that. Just one snarly look, snarly, snarly look, and it's all over. It's one snarly look, and it's all over Red Rover. It's all over Red Rover, and I don't know what to say. It's it's sad. It's it's very sad. It it's it's kind of that's that's what life is like. So.
there you go guys that's today's story I didn't approve this purchase fuck off I didn't approve this purchase fuck you that's the answer a man's gotta be a man you gotta have hand you gotta have hand it's it's a very sad sad tale very sad I'm just just want to share this with the the um, the viewers they're very very sad so um, there you go that's um, that's a career that never had a chance I'm Paul Pluto this is the Archie luxury channel and the Paul Pluto channel tell me what you think like subscribe tell your fuckhead friends don't tell her indoors unless she's a watch person and don't be afraid to put some nasty comments down below thank you oh. hey Archie luxury fans if you're into luxury then you gotta be into 66 Buick Rivieras Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. David SW, David SW, David SW. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest gray market dealer in America? There's only one choice, David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches and I've got to be honest with you the greatest the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex Patek Philippe Audemars Piguet is David SW David SW David SW David SW dot com that's right guys I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people too. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Rani at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex, for all the hot models, there's only one person I would recommend, David SW. David SW, David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. i got to be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW. David SW. David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one good source I would recommend. David SW. David SW. David SW. 
I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David S.W. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel.